just felt we needed to move move forward with the technology and try and bring it all under one one roof, as it were, because it was several different systems. Um, <clears throat> so uh, we went to the glazing show and, and saw the guys there, and we thought, obviously, because it had been bespoke built for the double glazing industry, we'd been looking at various other systems, but we thought this one probably would be the best fit. we've really got to grips with um, since we've got back off lockdown is we've made a complete move across to relying on it to pick up on whether things have been delivered or not so we use it to generate the purchase orders generate the per you know, the orders um, and then we're printing out on a daily basis all the deliveries that we're expecting on a particular day and now our storesman has come back off furlough you know he, he gets given that every day um, and then he'll come back and report back anything that hasn't been delivered or again stuff that has been delivered that wasn't on his list and then we have to dig down and find out maybe it's come early so it didn't appear on that day's list um, and I think it is a quite a long journey to get to the point where you're absolutely reliant on on it for something but this we have pretty much got there with the whole purchase orders and deliveries and then of course it makes it putting the invoices in behind those makes the job costings much easier um, we're not quite there yet but you know ultimately we should be able to pull off stuff that I was analyzing on a weekly basis in terms of leads and conversions um, that should be available at the push of a button because you're checking what how the job was priced up against the actual invoices that have come in and of course if there's a recurring issue you can then address that issue um, but yeah I, I, I do it to check retrospectively check what's been charged for each job against reality Obviously, it's garbage in, garbage out. So you've got to make sure you're absolutely on the game in terms of the information that's being put in the system. If you're relying on the information that's coming out in the reports to make decisions. Um, so we do actually pull off the MI reports from Business Pilot, but we check it against our database, which is a much smaller database than it used to be. We have far fewer columns, um, but we do still keep that as the absolute gospel of what's been sold for the moment. The, the one that would spring to mind is continuity of information. So with people working kind of from home and in different areas, um, everyone could log on to it and see what was happening on any particular job or any communication with any customer. Um, at that point, we weren't really totally up and running with the service call elements. And it was really mostly service calls that needed wrapping up. Um, so we probably missed a trick there. People are, know that the system's there. They know they can rely on it. Just things like, um, the big thing has been getting used to using it as a default. And I think what this situation has done uh, again, because we've been work I certainly was working all the way through lockdown from home, looking at stats and figures and and being forced to have to use it because you weren't in the office with all the tea cards and the wall charts has kind of broken the barriers down. Um, <clears throat> so, yeah, and I think carrying that journey on um, in the fullness of time when we have fully embraced it. And it sounds crazy after 18 months, but it's a very staged way so that we make sure that each part of it is fully implemented before we try and layer too much more on top. I mean, we're looking to the future in terms of what we want to do with the business. Richard, my business partner and I are of an age where we might want to just kind of, in the medium term, be able to let go a bit, you know. Um, and if you've got a system like that in place where it's not all in somebody's head, You've got, we're writing a manual, you know, a process manual for the whole business and having business pilot makes that so much easier.